Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. Giving all your love to just one man. You'll have bad times and he'll have good times doing things that you don't understand. But if you love him, you'll forgive him. Bum, bum. Even though he's hard to understand. And if you love him, Oh, be proud of him, cause after all, he's just a man. Stand by your man, give him two arms to cling to, and something warm to come to, when nights are cold and lonely. Stand by a man and show the world you love him. Keep, keep giving all, keep giving all the love you can. Stand by your man. Oh my gosh, I did not do that justice, did I? Sorry, guys. First of all, I'm filming at night, which I normally, I never do. That song was for Lisa, wanted to hear Stand By Your Man. Anyway, it's a great song, Tammy Wynette. It's an oldie, it's an iconic song, but it's kind of a hard song to sing a cappella. So, well, there's that, doesn't matter, I sang it for you. Hey guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. If this is your first time here, well, welcome, and consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. Um, this channel is Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And do you know why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people, a dollar. I start every video with a song, so if you have a request, send that in. And sometimes they're really good, and sometimes they're like, stand by your man. I feel like I should have a microphone, like this one. Stand by your man. Give him two arms to cling to. Okay, well, let everybody. Hey, guess what? It's Flamingo Day. All right, so if this is your first time here, I do four uploads every week, and they're all Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Like, everything is Dollar Tree, because everything is Dollar Tree is a dollar, people, a dollar. But if you want to know anything about my uploads, all you got to do is click down below, and you're going to find out everything you need. Listen, today is themed Thursday, which means I've done DIYs and crafts with a theme, and the theme is... Let's go back to this little number right here. Flamingos. It just looks like flamingos. Um, so I had quite a few people request flamingos. I think it was like, let's see, Marilyn requested flamingos. I think it was Marilyn, mostly it was you, right? Rita, I think, requested flamingos. So I had quite a few requests for flamingos. Well, here you go. Let's go have a flamingo good time. Or let's go flamingo to a good time. I, none of those work, do they? Anyway. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've made here today and hopefully you see something you like really quickly. I need to get to 750 subscribers by July 20th because my grandson thinks I can't get there and I have a $5 bet, which means I could make my first money on YouTube. So help, 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 help. So if you're watching this, just consider subscribing to help a poor grandmother win a bet with her grandson, with her 13, 13 year old grandson, 14? No, he's 13. Oh, can't remember all their, their names. Anyway, all right, so we do have a subscriber channel so, challenge and it's a, a challenge to do, oh my gosh, where is it? It's not right here. I can't believe I did that, but I do have it right here. I'm gonna grab it. So the subscriber challenge is, I challenge you guys to go buy these five items at the Dollar Tree and then use three things of your own and make a patriotic craft. So let me tell you what we're doing. You have to go buy five items. So this is one of those boxes. These are like, I don't know, they're the small boxes. They're like seven by four or five-ish, right? And then I have three diamond wrap things, red, white, and blue, and some chalkboard hearts. Now, here's the thing, you guys. 
you go to the Dollar Tree, they're, they may not have all these things, so improvise. I will let you improvise because it's Dollar Tree. Find what you can find close to these things. I'm gonna put at the end of this video, I'll put a picture up with all the rules, talk about it, but basically the rules are these. So it needs to be a patriotic themed DIY. And it's the five items that I just showed you. Improvise if you have to. And you're only allowed to use three other things. All right, we're gonna throw in the glue gun. The glue gun is not one of the things, but anything else that you use is an additional item. It could be twine that can counts as one or markers or anything. That's another item. Listen, this isn't brain surgery, so do it how you wanna do it. This is just kind of fun. Cause you guys are gonna make the craft. Then you send it to me on Facebook. The link is down below to my Facebook page. And then I'm gonna do a compilation of everybody's photos and do a video on it and we'll talk about it. This is just for fun. It's not, there's no winners, it's just for fun. But you have to get a video or a picture to me by July 12th. So if you go to my Facebook page, you have to follow and then you can messenger me and send me your photo. Make sure you give me permission to use your name when I put your photo up, your photo and your name. And then um, you can do a post on my Facebook page, but then I have to go in and approve it. So I'll do a post that's about the crafts, but then you can add your photo in that way if you want to. But eventually I'll put a video together and it'll be on this channel. Did all that make any sense? Mm. These are the cutest mugs my daughter got them. No, my friend got them for me. This is probably Captain Morgan. This is probably, no, this is, this is probably Captain. It's not it's just Ico. But anyway, all right, so that's the challenge. Um, and then that's it. I think I told you everything I, I had to tell you. So let's get into flamingos. Oh, you know why I sang Stand By My Man? Because tomorrow I have to go with him to work to help him. So I had to do multiple videos on one day, hence the baseball hat, which you will see on Saturday's video. <laughs> it's so confusing. Because Saturday I'm doing a wedding, so I had to pre-record that. Oh, oh my gosh, enough about my life. Should we get into this? I'm gonna show you a couple things, which I'm not sure if I'll include the video in on them because there was like, eh, they're kind of like, eh, crafts for me. So the first one is, I took a tote, which was the flamingo pink, and I bought um, some bandanas and I cut them and knotted them and weeded them through here and added this cute little flamingo, like keychain thing. And then on the inside, I took a, what is this hand sanitizer thing and I put stickers on it to say stand tall is that going the right way no it's not say stand tall with the little f flamingos in the background and then there's a brush attached that has a flamingo on it which matches the other bandana color so this is like a flamingo tote it's actually super cute um but I don't know that I'm going to show the video because it really didn't visually come out the way I thought it would I think it's cute but I don't know. Anyway, maybe I will. We'll see when I go to edit. I'm pre-recording without editing, which I never do. So hopefully I don't miss anything. The other thing that I tried that really didn't come out the way I thought it was going to was this little purse. So, oh wait, this little purse. Let's do it the right way. This little purse. So super cute idea. This is a chair mat and I hot glued it and used the strings to, to well, the handles I, I glued in anyway. But... I might try this again with something else because it didn't quite work the first time. And that happens when, when crafting, like sometimes things just don't work. It's a super cute idea because it's like a little clutch purse, but they're not, they're not made evenly. So when I glued it, it was like, I was like, ah, so frustrated. So super cute little idea, very cute little idea. And I'll try it again, but I left the stuffing in. I was like, should I have taken the stuffing out of it? There's so many things. But that's part of crafting. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You just, you know, you try. And then I'll show you my mistakes. I have no problem showing you my mistakes. But I do think making a little clutch purse out of the chair mats is a super cute idea. I just have to perfect it. All right. So now I'm going to just show you random flamingo things. So flamingo is not my thing. But I got requests for it. So, you know, if I get a request, I'll do it. So some of these are amazing and some of them are like, eh. And sometimes I don't feel the creative juices as strongly as other days, let's be honest. All right, so this was a garden flag that said, be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. 
it's still flattening out. So I thought this was a super cute garden flag. The problem is their garden flags are so flimsy. So if you hang them, there's like, I mean, they, they don't. So they really need to have weight added to them. So what I did was I took a dish mat and put it on the backside and some pink um, burlap ribbon and just to give it some weight. And now it's like two-sided. So I didn't really change it much. I just added that dish mat to give it some weight. Super cute actually. And then it wasn't the same size. So I added this to complete the square. Um, not bad. I mean, it's not my favorite piece, but it works. And I just like the front of their flag. Now I could have taken that flag and like Mod Podge it on something and made it a sign. But I was really trying to do an array of things and not have them all be the same. Like not, you know, like two, I just showed you two purses. Anyway, so there's a garden flag. Then they had a lot of flamingo signs this year and, um, and they're cute, but I love to upscale their signs because I think their graphics are really good, but they need to be upscaled. So this one is so cute, but I'm going to tell you, I added the nautical rope, which really pops the sign. And then I just did some three dimensionalizing. This is table scatter in their summer stuff. And it literally did really pop it. I was like super su surprised. So this was super easy and it just popped this sign. It made it a much better sign than it was. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else I was gonna say. Nothing, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna go to another sign because I did another sign too. And this one, I really like. So this sign, again, it's a flamingo and it says, welcome to paradise. But look at the video when I make it and it had so much glitter on it, like on the words and it was gross. Like it was so tchotchke looking, it was just disgusting. And it had just a little knot, um, twine rope hanging thing. So what I did was I sanded it, got a bunch of the glitter off. I outlined the words in a black and then this, the two was white. And I went over it with a black, with my huge black Sharpie that I just bought and it's in my haul on Saturday. So I used it before you even see me haul it. That's kind of funny actually. And then I outlined it in black to pop it, added some black twine down here. And then I took the cotton twine and I braided. Can you see that's a braid and made a cute little hanger. So now I think it looks so much better just by adding the black element into it to pop those bright colors. And they got rid of most of the glitter. The glitter was just overbearing. And now I actually think it's a very cute sign. Upscale, super easy. You know, I love to take the stuff that they sell us and make it cute. So speaking of those kinds of things, they had a flamingo cup. It was so cute. It had like a black top on it and a straw, super cute just the way it was. But I took these flamingo pink flowers I threw some rocks in the bottom of it, wrapped where the top screwed on it, I wrapped it in twine, and then this is a flamingo straw, which you don't have to put that in that. I just put it in there because it used to be a cup. I thought it was kind of funny. But I think this is a super cute decor piece now. And it was just a cheap little sippy cup thing, basically. Um, and now it's super cute, like great little decor piece. So I love that. And again, so easy, you guys. So easy. Well, then they had this flamingo that was just grotesque looking. It was all in tinsel. The legs were like orange tinsel, black tinsel on the nose and pink tinsel on the body. So I deconstructed it. And actually, he's so cute now. I broke him while I'm making him. I break the leg off, but I fix it. So I took all the tinsel off, except I left the pink tinsel on the body. See that? Because I needed that base. And so I chopped off the, the things that are sticking out to hold the tinsel on. I wrapped this in black twine. That is one honker of a nose on this flamingo. I wrapped the legs in regular twine and put flowers all over him. And now he's so, and he stands. And he's a sweet little flamingo now. It was it, so easy too and so cute. All right, then I made a flamingo hat. So I bought these flamingos that were on top of a pen. It was that they had, they had a great big puff ball and the flamingo on it. Well, when the flamingos were on the puff, 
the, I don't know what it was, a, a big puffy ball thing. They, it didn't work on the hat, they were too much. So I deconstructed them and then added them onto the hat, making this this cute little a flamingo hat. And I just took a couple of flamingo stickers and put them on here. I don't know if I would keep that on there. I tried it anyway, so it's there. And this pink burlap is absolutely perfect. I found the pink ribbon, which I hauled on Saturday, but now you're seeing it before you even see the haul. And I left the white ribbon on there as a base to tie the, the burlap on. And you'll notice I frayed the burlap. I love to fray burlap. I like the look that it gives. And then I used the pieces that I frayed off it for the next thing I'm going to show you. So always keep your stuff. But I think this is actually very pretty. And it's just a touch of that flamingo, cute little flamingo hat. Nice little decorative piece. All right. So when I frayed the burlap, I had these long pieces of pink twine now, right? So I'm like, I'm keeping those. I'm going to use them. This is a flamingo light. I turn it on. It's a flamingo light. It's a flamingo light. So I took pink pearls and I gave it a pearl necklace. And then this is a sink. It's a drain strainer, which I've done this before. I did it on a tear tray um, a while back. And this is the roses that I took off. Another thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. But this is the string from the frayed burlap, which I used on the hat. And anyway, isn't this cute now? It's so cute now. Just a cute little decorative piece, even if you don't turn the light on. It's just a sweet little flamingo that you can set on a shelf somewhere with a hat on. And I repurposed things. So this was the floral that, that came off a sign. I'm gonna show you, I'll show you that next. And then this was the string. And these were leftover um, greenery from the floral that I used for this. So I'm always trying to reuse stuff and use whatever that is. Anyway, I think this is so cute, that little flamingo thing. Well, I took a coloring book and I made this sign. So here's the thing. This had, it said sweet love or something and it had the foam flowers in there. I scraped them off and used them on this hat. And this was a hanging sign. It had three elements to it. And so I deconstructed that and glued them on there. But what I want you to see is this was a nice faux wood frame. So I took this coloring page and I colored, I outlined like everything on there to pop color in except for the flamingo. I left the flamingo, just the black lines, and then just colored that bright flower in there. And this, I think, is a really nice piece. Great little like pop of a flamingo somewhere. And then um, they had solar lights. Solar lights that were flamingos. I'm like, are you serious? Okay, great. That's perfect because I'm going to do flamingos. So I only picked one up. Now what I did was I glued the flamingo onto a candle stick holder. And this is a slinky. But it's like the perfect flamingo pink. And when I, look at that. He lights up. This is such a great little decoration to stick in a window because um, it'll get the solar charge and then light up and it doesn't have to be outside. And I actually just think this is so cool, the slinky, that, you know, it, that it's perfect flamingo pink. And this just came out. This might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I never know which one's my favorite. Yeah, anyway. Okay, and then I had some stickers that said flamingo. So, I'm Marilyn, I really need to mail this off to you because because you're the one that originally asked for flamingos. So there was these stickers, so I made a magnet. <laughs> so I have wood planks that are, they sell them in the crafter square. And so I scored it and scored it and scored it. I don't think I show it on video, but I scored both sides. And then I just put it on the side of my counter and like hit it and it broke. And just a little bit of sanding, not much. And then I used a black furniture marker, marker and colored it all in because the words were in black. So I knew the black would frame it nicely and then just glued a couple of magnets on that you get in the jot section at Dollar Tree. And it's a cute little refrigerator magnet that says Flamingo Lady. I'm sending it to you, Marilyn. So I need your address just so I, in case you don't win. I'm sending you this anyway. So cute. Like that's just so cute. And it's just a sticker. By the way, I did not Mod Podge over it. Um, but yeah, you can, I just was running out of time. I'm like, I'm not going to Mod Podge. It's on there. It's on there really well. So, but how cute for a fridge magnet. And then the last thing I did was 
last, was it Tuesday, I think? I did the geodes where I made a tower of the geodes and I put the, the um, glitter on them. I called them sprinkles all throughout that video. I know it's glitter. I don't know why I did that. It's not like I was making cupcakes, but I called it sprinkles the whole time I was doing it. But I put glitter all over the geodes and I, I put them in a tower, like I put three together. So that meant I had two bases that I removed from those geodes and I held on to them. Well, it worked out absolutely perfect to take one of the yard flamingos. So it looks like that's his legs. And then I just put this, I deconstructed this. This is one of those signs that had three things on it. And it says um, Island Party and it's flamingos on there. I think this is a super cute decor piece. So simple and so cute. I did outline the sign in the black again because I have the black here, which pulls in the snout on this thing. Um, and it's really good. I didn't do anything to the flamingo except used my hot glue gun to make one of the holes a little bit larger so that I could put this stick in it. And, and then just the only reason the sign is at an angle is because this other stick sticks up, but I think it's cute. And I think it actually balances really well. So that's the flamingo stuff. I hope you guys like it. It was fun. Again, for some reason today, I really wasn't feeling the creative juices. You know, you just have an off day. So I hope this satisfies everybody because I don't feel like it was my best ever. But um, I mean, there's a few things that I absolutely love. I love this. I don't know why. I just love this. I think it's so cute. So anyway, you guys, I hope you like those. That's the flamingos. Tomorrow is Foodie Friday. Um, so I'm, now the video is going to come that shows you how I made everything. So I hope it's all there. I don't know because I'm, now I'm going to go like try and edit and upload all that stuff because I'm gone all day tomorrow. So it means I can't upload it tomorrow and I have a wedding on Saturday. So I still have to write the vows. So I'm trying to get everything done this week for you guys. So I hope, wow, that's a lot anyway. Okay. So there you are. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. Enjoy the video of how I made all this stuff. It was all so easy. I didn't really do anything very difficult. Some of it was a little more tedious, but these were very easy crafts. You know that's what I love to do because I feel like easy crafts are easier for you guys to copy. So um, Marilyn and Rita, I think, I hope you guys enjoyed the flamingos. Please let me know which one was your favorite. Everybody, if you're still here right now, give me a flamingo emoji. And at the end of the video, Give me anything pink in an emoji will do. All right, you guys, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, and I will see you back here tomorrow for Foodie Friday. All right, enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I thought, hi. I thought it was very important to interrupt this video and tell you something that I failed to tell you in my intro. What was that? Well, let me tell you. Did you know that flamingos are not born this color? No, they are not. No, you weren't. I'm sorry. So flamingos are born like a white grayish color. And then after a little bit, a few years, I think, they start to turn sort of a red, orange, pinkish. And you know how you do that? It's because of the beta carotene. Is it beta carotene? Yeah, something like that. From the larva, ew, and the algae, ew, and the brine shrimp that they eat. That's why they're pink. I just thought I should tell you. Was that informative? Yes, it good. Okay, enjoy the video now. All right, so I have one of these um, little basket purse things, a bandana, which I'm gonna use the the two, anyway, I'm using the banana bananas to tie into this. And then I have a brush that has a flamingo on it. I have a flamingo little keychain thing. I have some antibacterial and some stickers. And we're just going to make a cute little um, tote that's got a little flamingo theme to it. So first I take the bandanas and cut the little white tags off them and then cut them straight down the middle and then cut them again in half. I went single layer this time. It was just easier. And these things are like, they're not a cotton bandana, so they won't rip. You just have to cut them. 
Anyway, <clears throat> and then I just started knotting them together to make one big string. Now, what I should have done is just weaved one through and then tied the next one on because then I wouldn't have have to, I wouldn't have had to weave like all of it through. I don't know what I was thinking. It was late. It was nighttime. Um, and I was trying to make the knots be what on the outside because I just thought it would added a cute little um, dimension. And I'm just folding them in so that the cut part is to the inside of the fold as I weave. You could take the time to hot glue it. I didn't. But you can if this was something you were going to make. You know, you can always just make your sections and hot glue them. Then weave and then tie together. And you don't have to do the tie together. I just happen to like that look. It's kind of like hippie-ish looking. So I take, I take the bandanas around once and then I can go again twice. Now one of the things that I noticed is that they ended up being the same color the bandanas hit at just the right place where like one side ended up being pink, one side ended up being more that turquoise-ish, light turquoise color. I liked it like that, but if you didn't want that, just know that you should probably do two of one color bandana tied together and then go to the next one. So, <clears throat> or just use the one color. Don't use the pink, maybe just use the, the turquoise tealish color. So then I was just like fraying it. Um, I liked the I liked frayed ends. If you watch my videos, you know I do. And so I was just like trimming that up and fraying it off. And then I take the what do I take next? Still. Oh yeah, my little flamingo keychain. So I just tried to hang him on there with this hook, and it just looked awkward. I don't know why. It just didn't. It didn't work. Something about it looked awkward. So I was trying to figure out, like, what can I do? And I had bought one of those hands-free plastic things. Oh, wait. First, I'm going to put a sticker. This is really cute, you guys. I put little flamingo stickers on the hand sanitizer. So your hand sanitizer was themed with your little totes. So then I get the little plastic thing that you open doors with, you know, the hands-free things. And um, I just want to take the loop-de-loop -loop off the top of it the keychain ring so that I can put that on my flamingo. So I get my needle nose obviously and take that off. And then tied the knot onto the flamingo, but I don't like that. I really had a hard time getting this where I visually liked it. And sometimes it just doesn't, you know, you play, play, play with it and you can't figure it out. So eventually I got it on there someplace where I like. Then I thought I would put a ring on the brush. That didn't work. So I ended up putting a ribbon on. Actually came out really cute. And I like that the brush is the same color as the thing. Just a cute little tote. garden flag and it says do you flamingo in a flock of pigeons but it's kind of flimsy and so I'm wondering if I can actually like strengthen it and just pop it up a little bit so I don't know I was thinking maybe to use the the um this dish mat and I just almost make it two-sided and that would give it a little more weight if I put the pink behind it. So that's basically, I suppose I should put the right side out, huh? <laughs> it's basically what I'm gonna do and see if that works. And then it makes it two-sided, so we get this cute little flamingo on this side. And so I think I'm gonna do it with tacky glue and I'll add, um, I'll just um, ah, put something on it to let it dry for a while. And then see if I can do anything else to enhance it, just to, you know, like finish it off. Because obviously then we have like this blue side over here. Maybe I should pull it all the way to one side. Yeah, probably. And then I can just border the one side with that just to finish it off. Okay, well, I'm gonna do something because I really like the flag. A bee, a flamingo, and a flock of pigeons, and but um, just didn't feel like you could really use it. So we're just gonna try and upscale it.
So I did just basically exactly what I said. So I cut off the tag, then got my tacky glue and just sort of covered the whole back of that. And I mean, if you're going to hang this outside, you can't really use like hot glue because that'll melt and, and I think the tacky glue will hold. And then just smoothed it down. And I just kept it so simple. I kept smoothing that. <laughs> I just took a pink burlap, cut it and put it down the side there. You know what? I love how simple this is. And the best part about it is it gave weight to that really flimsy flag, made it two-sided, and now it's going to hang totally fine. I mean, I went over, should I put something else on it? And I didn't. I loved it just the way it was. So I have this sign that says relax and um, I'm going to use some nautical rope to wrap around this just to really bring it to life. <laughs> I have table scatter that's um, their summer stuff and I'm just going to do some, some three dimensionalizing with some florals. I just think it'll pop really nicely here and then um i don't know if there's anything else i'm gonna do <laughs> that might be it but i think it's enough just to really bring the sign to the next level so i do i take the white nautical rope and i remove the tag on top at some point too there we go there it's coming off and i was just slow and precise about this making sure that i kept my nautical rope really even as I went around so I just take sections hot glue now this would have to be hung inside by the way because of the hot glue I mean it, the hot glue out in the outside Sun would melt but you'll notice on the top I just did a loop-de-loop -loop and a knot it was that simple put a knot at the end of the rope twisted and then glued it down I don't think I showed you that very well and then just embellishing with the table scatter those flowers I love how that yellow really popped on the shirt there and that was it cute sticker on this one that says crazy flamingo lady and I want to make it a magnet so I'm gonna get one of these planks wood planks and I'm gonna cut it down to size and stain it and put some magnets on it make it a magnet I just think it's really cute so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> let's go so I don't show this on camera, but I used my X-Acto knife and I scored and scored and scored on this. And then I just took it to the edge of my counter and hit it and then it broke off. So I just had to do a little bit of sanding, not much, just very little. Then I took my black furniture marker, stained her up, put the sticker on and voila, we are done. And it's so cute. Oh, I guess I have to put magnets on it. But this is actually such a cute idea, you guys. Little stickers to make magnets. It's great. Love it. it's a flamingo sign and I'm gonna try and upscale it but it seems a little like I just the the um the glitter drives me crazy so I'm gonna go over a trash can and try and sand that off first see how far I get so off camera I did just sand and sand away a, most of that glitter look it looks better so much better then I outlined it with a furniture marker on the outside and then I took one of my gel pins. It didn't quite work, so I went and cut the big Sharpie because it was the one I could find and just started outlining the welcome in the black. Do you guys look at how that changes it so much? Number one, you can read welcome. It adds a whole nother color in by adding in the black, which pops the beak of the flamingo. It really brings it up a scale. And then I colored in the two in the center too, <laughs> two in the center too. 
Uh, and then just keep going over the black a little bit to thicken that around the words. Look, it looks so much better already. Then I take my black cotton twine. Now I did three strands here and did a braid. The reason I did that was I just wanted a little bit thicker on the black and I wanted the black hanger, not a cotton twine hanger. So I just braided it for a while and then poked that through, got the braid in there, knotted it off and cut that off and then took the cotton twine and popped it down below. Do you see how simple? And this looks so much better. Just brought it up a ton. I actually ended up loving the sign and I didn't like it at first. So for this one, I have one of those little flamingo, it's a, just a cup, I think, right? Yeah, just a tumbler with straw is what they're calling it. So I think I should save this straw for my Disney trip when I have to take straws for the kids. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, so all I'm going to do is add some rocks to this, add some florals. I'll probably put a little twine around here just to finish it off and pretty much that's it. I might add I might add a flamingo straw in there just cuz they're like cute like it's like a drink with it I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. This is so simple and it came out so cute. So I threw the white rocks down in there by the way you can sort of see them through it so that was a great thing to add in. And then I just cut the picks and just started putting them all in there. Um, I don't know why I didn't put the twine around the <laughs> lid part first. I didn't. Sometimes I get so excited about something and then I'm like, oh yeah, I should have wrapped the twine. So then I do. It's fine. I go back through. I ended up having to tack it with just a little bit of hot glue because it kept coming up over the ridges of where you would screw on the black top. And then I think I throw the straw in at some point really simple project. These would make such great centerpieces for like a little party or something. Anyway, I think it came out super cute. I like this piece. If I was doing flamingos, I would put it up. I'm not, but so cute. It's so easy. So this one's super simple. This is one of the solar lights, but I'm taking it off the legs. I have a slinky and a candlestick, candle holder. And we're not even gonna like, don't even have to voice over on this one. All I'm gonna do is wind the slinky around this because look at that, that flamingo pink, which is super cool. If they drink the right water, they're flamingo pink, apparently. Oh no, how did I mess up my slinky? Hold on. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep winding it and winding it and winding it and get it all the way around without tangling it, which I keep doing. So I'm it. And can be a little difficult to get on basically because <laughs> they twist and when they twist then they're messed up and I don't want it twisted so well it's taking a little bit longer there we go now we're going we're back on right If it just fell over it, it would have been super easy, but it didn't. Okay, so now we've got the slinky on. Now, 
it's so, there's writing on the back of this. I can get something, get that off, but I'm not going to because I'm just going to show you how simple this is and how cute this is. All I'm going to do is glue our little solar thing guy down. And then honestly, this would be so cute just in a window. Why is my glue gun not hot? Don't know. Okay. You don't have to watch me glue gun it on. All I'm going to do is glue gun that on. And how cute is that? And I can adjust the slinky so that it's, like there's a ridge here. Actually, that looks good right about there. However you wanna do it. Or you can just, you know, push the slinky all the way down. It doesn't really matter. I'm just thinking that this is so cute, so simple. And what I'm hoping is at night that it will illuminate this little part down here, but I don't think so. I think it just illuminates the belly of the flamingo. But still, that's super cute. Okay, that's it, that one's done. this it's kind of an ugly hold on I gotta get my cord out of the way for the phone it's kind of an ugly little guy he's really ugly actually but I think I can redo him hopefully and make him look a little cuter so we're gonna deconstruct him and just get down to his frame I hope I mean that's what the goal is right now um and like the you know, I buy the things at Christmas time. I'm deconstructing them a lot too. So I'm not sure where I would start on this. First of all, the googly eyes, the, he looks better already without these googly eyes, which are just awful. Look, look at how much better. Just getting rid of those. So much better. We don't need googly eyes like that. <laughs> no. All right, so I'm going to deconstruct him and then reconstruct him and see what we come up with and to make this just a really cute, look at his beak. Um, so I'm actually probably gonna leave the pink on him because I have a reason, so anyway, so let's. First of all, I'm so off frame, you guys. I don't know, I must have hit my camera and not known it or something and like tilted it. But all I'm doing is removing all of the sparkly garland off of him so I took the orange off the legs and the black off the peak but I did leave the pink on and then um I decided to get the charcoal paint and paint his nose so that when I wrapped it with twine if anything was showing through it would be black like the black twine and then I started to wrap his legs in just regular jute twine and it took a little bit because there was the the nodules on the side that held on the the tinsel, I probably should have cut them off. So if you do do this experiment, like just cut it off in one section and see how it goes. I thought they would help me keep it on. Um, but again, hindsight's twenty twenty. It's okay. I got through it. I wrapped it. On the ends of the feet, I did have to put a little hot glue to get the twine to cover the very end of it. And then I, you can't see it here, I broke his leg off. I'm so sorry I'm off frame. So I wrapped the leg that I broke off <laughs> and then I glued him on back on and I glued him on pretty hefty. Like I put a lot of glue on there uh, and it was fine. He still stands and he's, he's all better. I fixed his broken leg. So after I got the twine on the legs and then I went back to the beak and I did the black cotton twine on his beak. Apparently I am completely off camera. I'm so sorry you guys. It happens. But look, there you can see his twine legs. They were cute. And on the beak, you, when you got to the end of the beak, I started at the end and worked my way back. So I did have to start with some hot glue because it wouldn't, you know, you, because of the angle of the nose and it got thinner at the end. So just, you can use glue to tack it on and get it started. Now look, he looks so much better already. Not that you can see him right now because I'm off camera, but 
Then I took a floral pick and I just start covering him in the flowers. Look at that. Oh, this tchotchke stupid looking little flamingo comes out so cute when I stick the flowers all over him. It took two picks, by the way. Two of these picks with these cute little pink flowers. Any little pink flowers would do, by the way. Um, but he ended up being just this adorable little uh, decor piece. And I wasn't sure if it was going to take two picks, but when I got down, I used one. I was like, no, I really liked it fuller with the flowers, so I did use two picks. Got those all over him, and then voila, now he's super cute and didn't need anything else. Certainly didn't need any of those stinking googly eyes. But this is, you know, how you take something from the Dollar Tree and really upscale it, and it's fairly simple. So, anyway, I hope you guys like how this little guy came out. I certainly do. I think he's adorable. dress it up because you know I'm gonna give this little flamingo a hat I'm gonna use the roses that I pulled off the sign that I put the coloring book one on hopefully you've seen that video before you see this one I never know the order I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna take some pearls and give it a cute little pearl necklace I'm gonna use the stretch um, stuff to do that and then when I frayed this ribbon when I did the hat, I frayed the rib the ribbon, and these are the pieces that came off of it when I frayed it. And so I'm gonna use them on the hat like ribbon and possibly to tie it on to the flamingo. So let's do that. So first of all, that little hat is a sink strainer. You get it in the kitchen area. It comes two in a pack. That's the smaller one. Um, anyway, so these are just the strings, the frays from that burlap ribbon, which you have not yet seen. It's in like the next video, I think. Um, but you know, you save that stuff, especially when you're doing something with a theme and that has like a color theme because I'm like, oh, I can probably use that pink in something else, which of course I did. And those two little flowers there come off of the two projects from now that you're going to see off the frame. And again, I'm holding on to them because they're pink. Now I'm just stringing a pearl necklace for our little flamingo. And that's called stretch lace. Get it in the Crafter in the Square section. It's really convenient for lots of things. If you wanted to make friendship bracelets, that's exactly the kind of stuff you use. So now all I do is just glue those little florals on there after I tied on my pink strands. And then I take a little piece of greenery because I decide, oh, it needs something. And those are the leftover parts from the pick that had the pink flowers on it for the flamingo. So, see, just using everything that I have out there um, and making sure I can use it. Then I glued the hat on. And, oh, my gosh, this came out so cute. So I'm going to decorate a hat. So 
swimming out. So I have the white hat here and I purchased these pens that have a flamingo on top of them. And I'm hoping I can like get that off, but if not, hmm. wow, that's in there pretty good. <laughs> I wonder what they glue that in, but um, if not, I think I can just take the pen apart. I can and just cut these down. So I have some flamingos that are, they're cute flamingos and some ribbons and some florals. And I think that's about it. And I'm just gonna decorate a little flamingo hat. I just think it's gonna look really cute on this like white, white hat. All right, let's go. So I start deconstructing my little flamingos there. And obviously I need to cut the sticks off because they're not gonna fit on there. Um, I can't do anything with them on those big, sticks so I cut them down so I just have like the flamingo body and this big on this big the flamingo on the big puffy thing then I take the pink burlap and see I'm fraying it I love to fray my burlap um I just think it's a nice look and I leave the white bow on because I use the white bow to attach look at that so easy you guys don't make it more work than it needs to be and then I'm trying to put the flamingos on, and I'm just realizing they're just too puffy. Like, it's just not going to work. It looked too clownish. Um, and there, again, those are the leftover parts of the pick from the flowers that I used on the other flamingo. I have them out there going to use them. And these pink ribbons right here are the pink ribbons that I pull off of the sign that I take apart in another video for the flamingo day. So I eventually decide I've got to take the puff off of the flamingo. Now, this was a little difficult. I don't know what glue they're using. They should sell it to us because it's amazing because it won't come out. And I couldn't put them in the microwave and heat them up because there was some sparkly metal stuff on these flamingos. But eventually, with a little you know, elbow grease, I got them out of there, cleaned them up a little bit, and then glued one on the back there, and then um, took my flamingo pink ribbon, this, I actually bought it, you know, just for this project. And made a little bow to add on top of the white one there. So I just went with the burlap, wide brim, then the white ribbon from the hat, and then the, the flamingo satin ribbon. Added my two flamingos on the side. Now notice I didn't quite go to halfway. I really, they're sort of on the back half of the halfway mark, and I was on purpose for balance. And then added in my greenery, and that's it. Like, it didn't need anything else. I didn't want to overdo it. There was a lot of ribbing going on, and I like that. But then I was like, I got these little stickers out, and I put them on the tails. I don't like them. I put them on there. I left them on for now. But I was trying to, like, I don't know, just get one more flamingo element. coloring book picture which I am going to use for a DIY and then um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take this uh, picture frame right here deconstruct it and use it for this page and that's the idea anyway yeah so I'm hoping that the other side of this has white on it because this will show through. Or it's, oh, maybe not. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's, not, nope, it's just a piece of paper on there, so I'm gonna take that off. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna embellish this with some different things. Uh, some crayons and markers probably I think a little bit and maybe some twine or some greenery um, anyway just gonna take this piece of page from a coloring book and make it look pretty cute so I start by removing those pink flowers see those those are the ones that went on the hat of that little flamingo light 
And then, I'm sorry, I'm too close on my frame. Boy, my filming, I got to work on this a little bit. This week it was a little off. But I had did something new. You notice my, my background is wood. So anyway, I was changing it up, but I have to move my camera up higher. So I cut out the coloring page and noticed that I left the black trim on it that was on it in the coloring page. So that sort of finishes the edges. And then I just started taking my gel pens, which I just bought these. I think I just hauled them last week and said I wanted to have a collection to use. So this is all, these are all Dollar Tree pens. They're gel pens. And I'm not coloring. I'm sort of inlining, meaning I'm just putting a following the outline and putting a line inside. It really pops it. It's kind of like outlining, but you're leaving the black on there. I pulled out every green that they had. Now, this one happens to be a, um, a marker. It's one of the scented markers, I think. The other green was a gel pen. Now I'm back to another gel pen. This is sort of an olive green. I was really trying to pull out every green I could. It changes it so much, you guys. You can't use the same green on all the leaves, but I, would, I used the same green on each leaf type. So every leaf that, that shape got that olive green. And then I moved forward and just continue to outline every, or inline everything that wasn't the flamingo. And here's another green, and I'm doing that style green plant. See my little piece of paper there? I was like testing my greens before I used them. Always a good idea. And look at it, how it, this picture is coming to life. The more just inlining that I do to it. Then I took a purple and did all those tropical flowers. And then I think I take um, a yellow to do the center part of the tropical flowers. Yeah, yep, I did. And then I still have that little top green. So I went back and reused this green because it was far enough away. I felt like that I could do that. But then I just take on the flamingo. Now I color it. So notice this is getting completely colored in. What does that do? It makes it stand out in the picture. Now that's just like, boom. You go right to the flamingo. There's just this one bright flower on him. I left everything else black and white. And look at that. It's so cool looking. So now I'm going to put it in this picture. So I opened it up. It was going to be wide enough that I wouldn't see the sides, but I'm going to see the black line on the top and the bottom. So I was trying to make sure I got that pretty even. And I used a glue stick. And the reason I use a glue stick is because you can get it flat. And if I'd used Mod Podge, it might have messed up my colors and it would have been wrinkled. So I've gotten it evenly in that frame. And then I had taken apart just a hanging, look, there's that pink ribbon that I used on the hat, right? So I just took this apart and put a little pink bird, very tropical, right? On the bottom left corner there, and then I added the middle part of that hanging sign, which was a tropical leaf thing, and I just hot glued these on, and sorry, I'm off frame. All I'm doing is outlining these two pieces with a Crayola pink outline pen, and then just glued them on. There it is, the Crayola pen. Glued one on the corner left, bottom left, and then one on the top right, and then it's done. So this is one of those um, flamingos that goes comes with the sticks and it goes in the yard. I glitter everywhere. And um, so I'm gonna redo it. And I'm, this is a stand from the geodes that I did the other day. So I'm gonna put the flamingo on here, and then I'm gonna take this off here. This says Island Party, and add it on to here. It's a cute little party decoration. Um, but you could put anything on there. I could just put Paradise on there and it would be fine. I'm going to put Island Party on there because it has the flamingo. But you could take any of these signs and use them uh, to put on there. So it, this is fairly simple. So first I took my sign apart so I could get the one piece that I want to use. And of course I was using it because I had the flamingos. And then I took my hot glue gun and I enlarged the one hole. The one... The... I only, obviously, only enlarged one hole because I was only putting one of these leg stands in there and then hot glued and let it dry. And then I outlined my 
tropical party sign, that black, because of course we have black in the stand. And then um, I, there was a little nail and I was trying to hammer it, that didn't work. So I just went ahead and hot glued on there, held it for a second, and that was it. It was done. And it, you guys, it's so cute. I just added a little extra hot glue on the back. All right, subscribers, rules for our patriotic craft challenge. Buy the five items listed here, and you are only allowed to use three other things to complete this, like your glue gun or twine or whatever. And you must have this craft completed, and the picture sent to me by Tuesday, July 12th. Send it to my Facebook. That's linked down below in the description box. No winners, just fun.